Hey y'all, Half Mapper here, and we're back on the range this morning. We're going to test some more 6.5 PRC ammo with the IMR 7828 Super Shortcut. Be the uh, second ladder test with the 7828. Still have a lot of setup to do, so y'all sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. We'll be right back. Okay, so I have target set up. <clears throat> target has six half inch black dots. We're going to test six loads. The black dots are just my aiming point. If I hit them, great. If I don't, doesn't matter. Just give me something to point at. I have the chronograph set up. You probably hear some pistol practice going on on the bay. And uh, let's see. Look at my crib sheet here. <clears throat> last, last time we stopped with the IMR 7828 Super Shortcut, we fired 51.7 grains, and it gave us an average of 27.23. Almost up there where I want to be. So this morning we're going to start with 52.1, and we're going to work our way through 53.7. 53.5 is the max load for 7828 according to the uh, the load data book. We'll go two tenths over if we're not showing any pressure signs at the max load. Okay, eyes are on, inner ears, chronograph is on, target camera is on. Let's kick this pick. This will be three rounds of 52.1 grains of IMR 7828 pushing the Hornady 147 grain ELD match. That's chronograph. Okay. Okay, so this first shot will be at the upper left dot. Two thousand eight hundred six. Twenty eight oh six. And we went wide left this time. Wider than before. Was that me just being cold with the trigger? Don't know, but that brass is still cool. Yeah, I think that first shot was me just jumping the trigger. That or I forgot the load to buy five. Let's see what that was. Gave us an average of 2779. Standard deviation of 19, pardon me, extreme spread of 41, and a standard deviation of 19. And that first shot, I'm pretty sure, was me. Probably a combination jerking the trigger, not loading the bipod, and basically just doing everything wrong. Next up, we'll be shooting 52.5. 52.5, and this will be... on the upper right dot. Ears on. Upper right dot, 52.5. Seven 
2,785. 2,765. Data tells us we were average of 2,778. Extreme spread of 18, standard deviation of 8, and except for that first shot being way out there, making it like a one inch group it looks like. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll continue on. Barrels cooled off nicely. I ran down, checked the target cam, checked the target. Yes, that last group does look like it's about an inch. And I was in such a hurry to leave the house this morning, I forgot those dang calipers again. So we'll have to wait till we get home. Okay. Continue with 52.9 grains of the IMR 7828. And uh, we are going to be shooting this on the Left hand side, second dot. And uh, before we take this shot, I got some more of the comments about how my portable bench sucks. That it moves too much, that it's probably okay for a 22 or a rim fire, but not for a center fire rifle that produces recoil. Yeah, the gun or the table moves when the gun fires, but when the gun moves from the gun firing, causing the table to move, that has already left the barrel. So, boom, and that happens, that shot's already gone. The, the table moving isn't affecting the shot. So, 52.9 grains of IMR 7828. Left hand side, second dot, here we go. Twenty-eight twenty. Oh well. Okay. 52.9 gave us an average of 28.31 with an extreme spread of 28 and a standard deviation of 12. And kind of a wide horizontal string there. Was that me? Was that the load? And one of the other things I did with this uh, particular batch of ammo. I never weighed bullets. With this batch of ammo, I weighed the bullets, I sorted the bullets by weight, and all the test rounds are, all three shots for each group are with the same exact weight bullet. So if I had a, any, say a 146.9, 
everything was 146.9 for that string. Just trying to remove variables. Okay, let's move on. Group number four will be 53.3 grains of IMR7828 SSC. And we're going to shoot this on the second dot right hand side. Okay, this will be 53.3 grains. Here we go. Twenty-eight fifty-seven. Two thousand eight hundred thirty-four. Twenty-eight thirty-four. And let's see what that average was. Average twenty-eight forty-six. Extreme spread of 23, standard deviation of 10. And 3 eh, maybe three quarter inch group. Okay, we're gonna let everything cool down. We'll bring it back for the last two groups. But with that last uh Load. Well, we are pretty close to the target I wanted. <clears throat> I was looking for 2850 feet per second. We are at 2846. It's pretty, pretty close to 2850. <clears throat> this next load that we're going to shoot, 53.5 grains of IMR7828 SSC. According to the load data, 53.5 is the maximum charge, and it should be, if I remember correctly, right at 2,900 feet per second, according to the book. So, let's see if uh, this one is close to the book. Target camera's running, chronograph's running, y'all are running. Let's do this. And 53.5 grains of IMR7828 will be shooting at left hand side, bottom dot. Left hand side, bottom dot. Don't forget to load the bipod. max load here, or book max load, pardon me. Two thousand eight hundred sixty-one. Twenty-eight sixty-one. So, I'm guessing our average is probably going to be about uh, maybe twenty-eight sixty-five. Let's see. Average of all three shots, 2864. Extreme spread, 35. Standard deviation, 14. And that group appears to be roughly half an inch. 2864. So 
a little bit closer to agreeing with the book than the uh, so our last load for the day. Our last load for the day is going to be two tenths of a grain over the maximum charge dictated by the load data. And we'll see how it shoots and see what we get speed wise. I'm guessing we'll probably be about 2880 ish if the uh, pattern is holding consistent. Barrel's just a little bit warm, but not, not hot. I've actually shot these in 15 rounds previous, rather quickly actually. Even, even with a cool down period. Okay, this is 53.7 grains of IMR7828, super shortcut. We're gonna be shooting this on the right hand side, bottom dot. Let's see what we get. Right hand side, bottom dot, here we go. Twenty nine oh one. Two thousand eight hundred ninety. Twenty eight ninety. Here we go. Third and final shot. Keep that bipod loaded. Twenty-eight sixty-four. Brass is still cool. Let's see what our average is. Twenty-eight eighty-five. Average for the three shots: twenty-eight eighty-five feet per second. Extreme spread thirty-seven. Standard deviation sixteen. And that last group looked very much like the prior group. So, I'm not sure what to think yet. I don't know if the groups aren't tight because the shooter's having not so uh, perfect of a day, or is it the load? Do I need to clean the rifle? We're only now at 118 rounds through the bore. So that means it's been almost 100 rounds since it's been cleaned. Hmm. Don't know. Let's go uh, recover that target and we'll take a look. All right, y'all. Well, here's our target. That's that very first shot this morning. Cold bore, cold shooter. I blame the shooter. He should get fired. Then we settled in here and we pretty much hold this spot through all the targets. 52.5. Looks to be just a hair over an inch once we factor out the uh, the lead lines, center to center. That's going to be just under an inch. That's probably three quarters of an inch. Again, three quarters of an inch, 53, 53.3. 53.5. Now that we're starting to get a little speed on it, I believe this was a 28.64. And we are just about half an inch. 53.5, according to the load data, is a max load with IMR7828 SSC with the 147 grain ELD. And we pushed it over 53.7. I think we're going to play around there a little bit more. We'll come back in with a 53.6, 53.8, maybe a 53.9. See how they shoot, and then we'll start playing with a seating depth a little bit. But for 78.28, 53.7 right now seems to be the uh, winning ticket. Okay, now that we're home, we uh, broke out the calipers and 52.1. First shot of the day with me jerking the trigger. That group gave us a 1.79 inch group. I blame the shooter on that one. 52.5 gave us a 1 inch group. 52.9. Also gave us a one inch group. 53.3 gave us a nine 
a .935 inch group. 53.5. This was, uh, according to the, the load data, a max load gave us .58. 53.7 gave us a .650. Hmm. Don't know which one of those I want to go with now. But, I think we'll inch up just a little bit. Because 53.5 is a max load for the IMR7828 SSC. This has us a little bit short of 2,900 feet per second. This one here has us just, just shy of 2,900 feet per second. And looking at our brass here, these were our starting load at 52.5. And these were our overbook over max loads at 53.7. I do not see any signs of overpressure. So I think we're okay there. And don't mind those. Those are for another day. All right, y'all. Wow, I think that was a pretty decent uh, ammo test today. I think we're zeroing in on a a load for the uh, IMR7828 SSC. Again, SSC stands for Super Shortcut. According to the uh, load data, 53.5 grains is a max load. It's supposed to get, be giving us 2,900 feet per second. Well, it didn't. We went two grains over max at 53.7. We got to 28, 84, 85. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. So we're getting close to 2,900 feet per second. We got a, had a decent group. We will uh, try again. I think next time we'll try 23, pardon me, 53.6, 53.7, 53 53.8. We may go as high as 54, but we're only going to work in one tenth increments now and see if we can uh, tighten up that group just a little bit more. And then once, we'll, once we get that, then we'll start playing with seating depth and since I'm now, what, 100 and 121, 118, 100, like 118 shots in on this barrel. Pretty soon I need to take a look at the throat, see if we're seeing any erosion yet. I highly doubt it, but you never know. And we will double check our distance to the lands and see if we need to adjust our seating depth there. A lot of blah, blah, blah this morning. Thanks for putting up with I appreciate that. I want to thank you all for hanging with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you all watching and liking and commenting and hanging out in the chats. It's pretty cool. I'm uh, closing in on, a, I think this morning I'm like just shy of 24.50 on subscribers. Wow. I've ordered my new rings so I can put my new scope on. Once I put the new scope on, I can give this scope away. Problem is, my rings are back ordered. So I need to give uh, Mark LaRue a call and find out how long they're gonna be on back order. I may have to go with a different set of, different set of rings. I really want to give this scope away. Not enough coffee yet this morning. Okay, with all that being said, this is Half Mile Sniper reminding y'all, carry everywhere you can. It's really getting crazy. It's bad enough I've uh, reverted to carrying a full-size gun myself. No minigun, no, you know, no, no little pocket pistol. I'm carrying a full-size 40 everywhere I go. Get a CCW if you need one. If you're in a constitutional carry state, no reason not to be carrying. Heck, there's 27 constitutional carry states now, slowly have the majority, but still get a CCW because you may travel. Not everybody's going to recognize your constitutional carry ability. Ah, yes. And with all that being said, it's Half Mile Sniper reminding you, stay safe, keep shooting. We'll catch you next time.
send it. Hit. <laughs> 